This is Vanessa and I am here to give you some tips on how to grow your group from scratch today. Um, so I am not born and raised in America. I am from Hong Kong and I didn't um, come over to America till I was um, in college. So um, the reason I'm telling you this is that I have no network, no um, very little friends and family here, basically no girlfriends here in America. So how did I grow my group from scratch with no friends and zero friends that would be interested in buying Agnes and Dora? So um, first thing I did after I created my group was um, adding my friends. So it doesn't matter what um, friends they are. Um, I added everybody from Hong Kong, um, all my childhood friends. I messaged them and say, hey, I'm starting an online boutique. Would you join and support me? So just doing that, well, I was able to get about 50 people in my group. Um, if you grew up here, you're going to have a lot more people, friends and family than I do. Um, especially if they're all active on Facebook, like um, Facebook wasn't as um, important as, you know, in some other countries. So I was able to get 50 people in the group. Um, it consists of all my immediate family and um, my husband's family. Um, you know, you can reach out to cousins. Um, family, your friends from anywhere, just reach out to get those numbers in the group first. So that is your first step. Um, another thing you can do is rely on your sponsor. So your sponsor in the business should already have a group. Um, so what my sponsor did for me was to share my group link in her group so that um, her shoppers can join um, my group. So I ended up having quite a few shoppers joining my group just to show their support for my sponsor. Um, so doing this, I was able to get, you know, about 60, 70 people. So normally, if you grew up here, you're going to have 100 to 200 people after doing these two steps, um, if you have um, your network here. So basically exhaust your network and add everybody that you know into the group. Um, and if they're women, you know, co-workers from before or, you know, your stay-at-home mom, other moms or people at church, just add everybody that you know. Um, exhaust your network would be your third step. Basically reach out to everybody that you didn't catch in the first step. And um, because now that you have a, um, after your first two steps you're going to have a bunch of people in your group um, so the people in your extended network is going to join more readily so after you exhaust every warm your warm network um, you can reach into the buy sell trade groups on Facebook so this is where I spent a lot of time and Basically, it's my bread and butter, and I know a lot of people actually suggest against it. Um, so I have my sales today basically wholly because of buy sell trade groups. So I would highly recommend doing it, or um, if you want to do it my way and be 100% online. So how you do it is you're gonna offer your you're gonna pick a launch date um, for your business. So um, I signed on about July, mid-July, and my launch day I set as August 1st. So I'm gonna, I made an event called the launch party, and there is a giveaway attached. So if they join my group, um, they get a chance to win shop credit. And what I did was give out $20 to three people. That is my giveaway. Um, so I felt really bad doing that at first, but um it's really not that bad and it's like the best way to grow your group so basically you're gonna um make that event in your group and you're gonna hype up 
about it. You're going to post sneak peeks. You're going to post styles, photos, um, make it a fun event, and you can you can do other stuff like live unboxing your inventory. You can um, also um, um, make it a fun game. So like, guess how much how heavy my inventory boxes are going to weigh when they come or guess when they're going to arrive. So this is actually a really good idea to make it a game for the giveaway. So you're going to have a post in your group and um, to join the giveaway, they have to not only join your group, they have to find your post, like and comment on it. If they like and comment, then Facebook is gonna think they are interested in your group's content and show your stuff to them more. So whenever you do a giveaway, make sure you have them, they have to like and comment on your giveaway post. So do giveaways in your Bicep Trade groups and just run it for two weeks and um, post it every day in as many groups as you can. I have about 15 groups that I post daily in. Um, the groups I post in is Agnes and Dora groups and also Lula Road groups. Um, so that got that after doing that for a couple months, one or two months, it got my group to about 300 people. Um, during that time, I did not do any live videos, but um, live videos um, would be the best way to grow your group um, really big. So um, for sure you're going to need to do live. I didn't do live for a while because um, I wasn't sure if I want to do live. Um, but now that I do live so like twice a week and I'm so used to doing live, um, it is really the best way. So when you do live, if someone is watching, sometimes, um, I'm not sure why, but their friends get notified that they're watching or their cousins or their family. So um, you can reach your the viewers, friends and family as well. And another thing you can do is attach a giveaway to your life and have giveaway shop credit like $20 or you can give up something, um, accessories, anything. Um, share giveaway. Then they will share your video to all the groups um, and that would give you even more reach. So in the live video, you're going to repeat constantly, join my group for um, my giveaway, join my group for new um, Agnes and Dora sneak peeks, join my group for um, all the fun stuff we're doing in the group. So that do, doing that is going to get your group a lot of reach. So every time I did live, um, I get a few people joining after the live. And every time I do giveaways, every day I post a giveaway post, I have um, five to 15 people joining in my group. That got my group. Um, to 300, 400 pretty fast. And that is the level where you can start expecting to convert them into sales. So after that point, you're going to adopt a funnel strategy and make the group your focus because that is where you're going to have exciting things happening and people can feel like they're in a, um, like exclusive community. So you're going to adopt a funnel strategy and direct everybody into your group. So what you can do um, you can make a newsletter and post um, your link in the group. Every time you make a bicep trade post selling your clothing, like um, you can, you're going to put join my group at the bottom. You're going to post that every time. For me, I post my website and my group so, because that is my where my funnel is. I'm going to lead everything back to my group and back to my website. Um, another thing, other things you can do, Instagram, Pinterest, you can, on Pinterest, you can actually link it back to your um, website is what I do, or your group. Um, Instagram is a little bit more tricky. You're going to need a bigger following. So if you already have a bigger personal Instagram account, you can take advantage of that and put one link in your bio. And you can make that your group link. 
Um, you can post it on your website. On Angusindor, you have your website you can customize. You can make sure just to post it somewhere visible. You can put it on your business card. That's what I did. And for any in-person events, you can offer um, $5 for them to join your group. Um, $5 credit um, off their purchase. Um, that Most people would do that just to get $5 off. So... That got me a few drawings, but um, you know, people aren't always active on Facebook in person, so they never really converted to ongoing sales for me. So, mostly for me, I grew my group through the buy sell trade groups. They're already familiar with Agnes and Dora, so um, it's easy to get them to join. And also, every time you make a sale, um, you, I would reach out to them and be like, um, do you want to keep in touch and join my group and we'll have a lot of fun stuff going on. Okay, another thing is make your group exciting to be in. Um, so make it the place to be the group to be. So that is going to be another video. Um, but one thing you can do is make Tons of events in your group. You don't always have to create an event, but make it so, for example, if I have an album sale in my group, I would post everywhere. I have an album sale now, join my group. So they have to join your group to participate in the event. Or um, I have pre-orders, you want to see the sneak peeks, you need to join my group. So anything that is more exclusive in your group, um, you can use that to get people to join. So that is basically how um, I grew my group. Um, if you have any good questions, um, feel free to reach out to me on Facebook. Um, and thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys on the next video on how to make your group an exciting place to be. Thank you.